back in the garage. I've got an update, and uh, we're going to do a little fix before we hit the woods tomorrow. Because uh, once I did all the steering stuff, I told you I knew the track bar was going to have bump steer issues. But it'd be fun in the woods, and it will be. But the track bar is worn out. The ball joint parts just, just slop, flopping around. I'm afraid with the slack that it may get some momentum. And maybe if I get played too rough, maybe shear that off. So for right now, I've got a stock replacement one. It was on Rock Auto. 18 bucks. Now, I've got parts coming to build a big boy one ton. I'm still going to use a tie rod instead of a heim. Instead of changing the bracket, I may modify the bracket or make another one. But I, I like the idea of using a ball joint, just a big one. And it's still going to be inch and a half DOM quarter wall, still really heavy. I should still have okay clearance where I'm going to put it with my 3 inch lift. But I, I think I'm going to go ahead and get some 4.5 inch springs and go up a little higher. I, I can go up exactly like 1.5 inches before I can't get it in the garage. So that's, uh, that's where I'm going to cut it off for right now, four and a half inches. But, let's see, I've got the one-ton tie rod coming. I've already got the DOM. And I've got a an Arctec relocation bracket. It moves it higher up. It shortens it a little bit, which is not great. But you can't go higher where it's at because the spring's right there. It'll hit. So I've got that coming too, and we'll do a build video on that. But I drove it today down the highway it, on the back roads it was a little sketchy on the highway it was really sketchy especially since I don't have any sway bars so the whole time it's just back and forth back and forth just trying to catch it you, I never could get it just to go straight because there'd be another bump in the road and it would veer off one way so I knew that would be a problem for anyone else considering doing this it was really sketchy I made it to work I don't recommend it I don't know that I'd do it again but, but it was hairy. You're driving the whole time. You can't just cruise. So anyway, we're going to get this track bar off and put this new one on. And hopefully I can get some pretty decent videos tomorrow. Uh, hopefully there's some pretty good obstacles. Sometimes you get some places and it's so rutted out that it's kind of hard for us to play unless you have 40s. So, I guess we're hoping. Let's get this track bar swapped. Well, the first bolt, I was going to get the cotter pin out, but I couldn't get it out. So I, uh, I've already backed it out as I couldn't get the cotter pin out, and when I moved it, the nut kept spinning. Even with the cotter pin in it, it just kind of sheared it off, so I just went with it. Um, I also figured out that it's already loose. Like I'm hoping that this isn't just worn out. I'm going to ream it out anyway. I really don't think I'll be able to use this bracket. I think I'll have to make one, and I'll have to make one to move it forward, because if I have a straight bar... This end will end up raised up, but if I had an absolutely straight bar, the axle would probably hit it. So I'll probably scoot it so that the tie rod's more over here, parallel to this. But in, just enough out of the way to clear it when, when this is straight. So that's loose. I think, I think the actual taper part is loose. I think if I wiggle the steering wheel, it'll fall down. Maybe. Because right now, with my lift... It's got it in a little bit of a bind because it's not sitting in its neutral spot, but you can hear it down there. Maybe that was a uh, maybe that was enough. No. All right, I got it without scratching my new rod either. I stuck my pry bar right through here. And kind of pushed it up there and then tapped it in with the hammer. Not not crazy hard, but kind of pried down a little by pushing a tie rod. And then I smacked that with the hammer. Popped right out of there. So all we got to do is pop this 15, which hopefully I can squeeze my socket past this. I had the wrong size on. It's a 15 millimeter. I hate the idea of scratching my new bar, but it's it's a wood toy. <laughs> Oh man, it was pristine. All right, that should fall out. And it's out. 
this nut off of here. Hopefully the new one's the same. It looks like it was pretty close. Get this out of here. Well, Danny, what did I do with it? Ah, there we go. There's our old one versus the new one. Looks like it's got a slightly different bend, but it's it's not an OEM part. It's really close. It's gonna work better than this one. Yeah, this one was done. Much tighter. It's, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I don't want that. It, it could cause a problem because it being so loose, it could shear it off possibly. But it was annoying as hell clanking around. So that'll at least solve that for now. All right, it's in there. I didn't feel like doing a. I didn't feel like it was necessary to do a very in-detail video. There's a bolt here. There's a nut that gets trapped behind it. Ball joint up there. I still got to tighten all this stuff, obviously. But so be looking forward for my next build. I've got the parts ordered. I'm gonna have to borrow a welder, a MIG welder, to use at home. To weld on the new track bar relocation mount welds to the axle and i'll cut all that crap off and i'm i don't know when that stuff's coming some of it's coming from rough stuff in california so that, that might be a week till i get it so keep an eye out for that that'll finish off all my steering linkage track bar stuff for the front i've still got to do a track bar in the back but i think i'm going to hold off because i've been looking at how much it will cost for me to do long arm stuff and I've got this 8.8 I want to put in with the 410 gear. Obviously, I'll have to swap the, the gears in the front, too. I wanted to do a high pinion, but I may just throw gears in that for now, just because it's there. Um, it's not the cheapest thing, but just a, a gear assist, not the end of the world. A couple hundred bucks. But Iron Rock's got a triangulated four-link kit, and then I won't need the track bar. So I don't want to invest in a track bar if I want to go that route. Now, I wanted to build everything, but I can't build it anywhere near as cheap as they've got that kit. It's, it'll swap in my axle with the truss, the long arms, the subframe, everything. So I'm going to go with that because by the time I priced it all out, I can't do it. And all the time in engineering, I can't do it that cheap. So I'm just going to do that. Just the steering setup. I built it, I did it my way, but it was 360 something bucks for all these parts and the DOM and shipping. Well, that's it. I just didn't want to leave everybody hanging. It's been about a week since I released the video after the WJ knuckle swap. Um, the brakes, I didn't mention those. Great. Before I could get all over the brakes, it didn't want to stop. Had decent pads, it was okay. With these, like the first couple times, sucked and i was like well, well this is great it's not much of an upgrade but the the rotors had this weird coating on it i guess it's to break it in whatever anyway after the fourth like the, the third time i hit the brakes the fourth time holy crap this thing stops so much better i, I have confidence in it now i didn't before i you'd never sure you got to keep lots of room with 33s and those stock crap brakes but now it will stop so very happy with that so it if that's the only thing you want to swap for is for the brakes, it's well worth it. But anyway, just want to give you all an update. It's going to be a little while until my parts come in to do the next video. And we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Well, please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Just couldn't stand it. So we're going to try this. I don't have a brush, but I don't want to start rusting, whether it matches or not. Ta-da! Fixed! Now my OCD can calm down.